Boys, today I am going to be rematching against ChatGPT. Or I'm going to be showing you my rematch. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. I played as black. They started out with e4. I played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Knight to c3. And then bishop to b4. And already we get a nice little chat GPT classic. And then the castle taking their own bishop. It's pretty great. And here I play d6. They play d4. And now I play bishop to g4. They now play bishop to b5 because, well, <clears throat> they just the bishop is never actually taken, you know. And now we got a lot of takes. I take, they take, I take, and they take with the queen. So, yeah. And something interesting about this is that ChatGPT actually was keeping track of all the moves that were played. So I was thinking, hopefully, that there would be no, no stupid stuff. Well, let's see if that's true. Well, here we have some pretty normal stuff. Take, take, d5, and then knight to e5. So here I played bishop to d7, and then, wait, hold on a minute. And then knight takes c6, and then queen to f6, and then e takes d5. Now here I thought I'd pull a nice little chat GTP and castle, and then my opponent played knight to d4. So here I play rook to e8, they castle again, so I play queen to g6, knight to f3, and then I play knight to f6. Here I played queen to e4, attacking the pawn and potentially threatening the knight if I can get bishop to g4 on the board. And here uh, my opponent was like, hey, you want some? Queen to d4, hmm? So, uh, remember when I played queen takes d5? Well, Chad GTP was like, hmm, yes, c takes d5. <laughs> but actually, I said, oh, no, 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 you're not doing that. That is an illegal move. And so instead, they played the perfectly legal rook a d1. And here is where things started to break down. I took the queen, and then they played bishop to g5. Well, they played bishop to g5. I, uh, I played queen takes b2, and then they played knight to d4. At least it's a pretty reasonable move. I take on a2, absolutely hoarding the pawns, and then they castle kingside. <laughs> And so here I played rook a d8 and queen to g3, or should I say queen at g3. And here I played queen to c4. And then I gotta give chat GPT props for these next two moves because they're actually legal and pretty good. They played knight to b3, I took, and then rook to c1. Here I play queen e2 h3, knight to e4, and then an absolutely brilliant move by chat GPT standards, knight to d4. So you might think, well, you take the queen, and then take, and then you fork in the, the queen, and the king, and the rook, and the whatever. But no, chat GPT said here that it, no, it was chat GPT's turn, and plays knight takes e2, and after knight takes g3... And here, for some reason, chat GPT played bishop to e3 after knight takes e2, king h1, knight takes c1, and then rook takes c1. And now I'm just up a rook and two pawns. And here, some interesting things happened. I played c6, chat GPT passed, h6, and then rook to d1, which <clears throat> they claim is eyeing my d6 pawn. So I'll gladly take that free pawn, and then I will play d5. You are not ready for the next moves. For the next move. They play d6, and they say it's threatening to take my pawn on c6. Okay, and I said okay, and then I played a5. They play rook to d2, I play bishop to f5, and then they play rook c d1. I mean, 
here I play rook to e6, they play f3, and let's just ignore that blunder of a bishop. I play rook takes d6, and then they do something incredibly stupid here. Well, not they just they do something very interesting. They play rook takes d6, and then they make my move for me and play c takes d6. What? And now they do the uh, chat GPT classic, taking their own pawn with king to g2. I play rook takes e3, and now they play f takes e3. <clears throat> of course, yep. The funny thing is, I'm still winning here because of my advantage of pawns. Here we have f6, rook to d2, bishop to e4 check, king to g3, king f7, rook f2, then king to e6, and then rook to a2, king e5, and then knight to c3. So then I played knight to f5 check, king to f2, d4, e takes d4, king takes d4, knight takes e4, king takes e4, rook e2 check, king to d5, king to d3, knight to d4, Knight to c3 check, like there's just a spawn point at knight to c3. King to c5. Rook to f2. a4. Rook to f4. Knight e6. Bishop to e2. Knight takes f4 check. King e3. Knight g2 check. King f2. King b4, king takes g2, king takes c3. And here, chat GPT plays bishop takes a4, d5, and then bishop at c1, d4, bishop f4, g5, and then bishop takes f6, d3, bishop takes h6, d2, bishop takes g5, and d1, queen. And here I was really hoping that they wouldn't take a mate in 37, but... They took. And a few moves later, after a bunch of moves, boom, bam, bop, beep, or wait, no, beep, bipe, bump. They made a queen. They played queen to e5, bishop to e3, king d3, Queen d4 check, king c2, bishop d, I mean queen d2, king b3, queen to c5, king to a4, queen c4 check, king to a5, and then king to f3. And the game ended in stalemate.